All right, so um, once again, hello everybody and welcome to today's online workshop where we'll be talking about the training team's welcome committee. Um, so I'm Ben Evans and I um, was selected as a training team representative for 2023. And that means I represent the training team to the larger WordPress project. Um, so if the project wants to communicate something with the team, um, it, it may sometimes come through me, or if the team wants to communicate something to the project, it might go through me as well. So um, I was a training team welcome wrangler. We used to call them wranglers last year. Um, so I have experience doing that. Um, and then yeah, in February this year, we sort of updated the whole welcome process in the training team, renamed it the welcome committee. Um, and so what I'm about to share with you is a new process we've started from about two weeks, uh, two months ago. Um, so I'm trying to raise awareness, um, see if people are interested in getting involved, um, because I think it's one of the easier ways somebody can contribute to WordPress. Um, so yeah, that's a brief overview of what we're going to be talking about today. Um, let's see. So let's start from make.wordpress.org. So uh, many of the folks here already have um, experience with WordPress, um, and that's great. Uh, but for those who might be seeing the recording later, I just want to briefly give an overview um, of the Make WordPress project. So WordPress, of course, is the name of um, homepage building software or content management system. Um, and there's a huge community of volunteers that help make WordPress possible. And if you go to Make, wordpress.org you'll see a list of all the teams that contribute to making wordpress and um, so at the top here you see we have a core team we have a design team we have a mobile team we have accessibility um, so these these teams um, relate heavily to the actual code behind wordpress uh, but we also then have like a polyglots team so this team focuses on translating WordPress into different languages. We have a support team to answer people's questions about using WordPress. We have a documentation team, so they write documentation about the features of WordPress um, and many other teams. I think we have somewhere around 20 teams at the moment that contribute to building WordPress. Um, and I sort of skip past it right now, but here you'll see we have a training team and that's what we'll be, we'll be talking about today so the training team let's see the wordpress training team helps people learn to use extend and contribute to wordpress through synchronous and asynchronous learning so the training team we don't directly build wordpress code or we don't help a lot we're not the support team, we're not the translation team, we're not the core team. What we do is we help people learn how to use the WordPress software. So the core team makes the WordPress software and distributes it, and we make videos or text-based tutorials or courses um, that help people learn how to use the WordPress software. Um, and so today, this we, we're part of an online workshop this is an interactive format where folks can ask questions um, about whatever the topic we're talking about. Um, and yeah, so we have different like education um, opportunities like this we present to the world so that more and more people can learn WordPress and use WordPress in their lives. Um, and it says here, if you enjoy teaching people how to use and build stuff for WordPress, immediately stop what you're doing and join our team. So I didn't write that, That's been, that text has been there for a couple of years now. Um, but if you enjoy teaching people, come and join our team. Um, and then the question is, well, how do you join the team? How do you join the training team? And so that's what we're going to dive into. Um, before I dive into the training team specifically, was there any question people wanted to ask about general WordPress? Mark Andrew, I see your sweat emoji. Yeah. I mean, it's a good catch copy here. <laughs> All right. So when you click on um, training here, 
we're taken to a site, make.wordpress.org slash training. So I'll drop this link in the Zoom chat here. Every Word, Make WordPress team has their own blog. We call these blogs. Um, and it, it, it all goes make.wordpress.org slash and then the team name. So we're part of the training team. Um, and if you have a quick look here, at the top, we have our current focus areas. So if you click onto these different topics, you can see what projects we're working on. And then down the left here, we have lots of posts. Um, so if you, if you want to know just in general what the training team does, um, this gives you an idea of what recent things we're doing. Um, and also here, you'll probably see a welcome box when you come to the blog for the first time. There's a button here to close the welcome box, um, but this should be open. Um, and so this has a bit more information here about um, what the team does. Um, and most importantly, we have a link to a meeting calendar here. So in the WordPress project, when we say meetings, most teams mean um, Slack-based meetings. So Slack is a text communication tool. Um, and because we want meetings to be accessible to people, um, and we also want to, um, to allow people to comment in meetings asynchronously, um, a lot of meetings are held in Slack with text. Um, so the meeting might be for one hour, but people who aren't able to log in during that hour are able to come afterwards and comment on the meeting discussion items, et cetera. So I just opened the meeting calendar and you'll see here, this is the training team meeting calendar. I'll drop a link to that in the Zoom chat as well. Um, and you'll see we have a few meetings each week. So let's see, today is the 14th. So um, the time you see here is your local time. So at the moment, I'm in Japan. So you're seeing the times in Japan time. Um, if you were to open this link, you would see the times in your local time zone, uh, which is a pretty nifty tool to feature. Uh, but anyway, so today, the training team has a coffee hour. Um, it's at 10 p.m. my time, which is my bedtime, so I won't be attending. Um, but coffee hours are just casual, get to know you chat with people in the training team. And these are an exception, and these are held via Zoom. Um, so if you just want to casually get to know other people in the training team, um, this is about the only time in the week where you can actually see people's faces and talk to them synchronously. Um, but next week, You'll see here, we have a training team meeting on Tuesday, um, and this is APAC. So this is 4 p.m. my time. So this is sort of aimed for the people who live in the Asia Pacific region. Um, and then the following week, the training team meeting is held here, um, which is 1 a.m. my time, but this is aimed more for the European and American contributors. So we alternate our team meetings between the Asia Pacific region and the Europe, American regions. Um, so hopefully people can join a meeting live um, every two weeks or so. Yep. Um, and we have other meetings here, but you can click on those and look into those. The main points I wanted to bring out were these team meetings. So um, they happen every Tuesday and they alternate between Asia and Europe, American time zones. We'll come back to the meetings in a moment, but for the moment, just keep in mind, we have weekly meetings. All right, so we're back to the training team blog here and we have a welcome box. Um, I usually keep this hidden. And I want to point out three important links at the top right here. So we have getting started, we have handbook, and we have faculty members. Now, the handbook is your go-to resource with all the information about how the training team operates. So I clicked on handbook, we'll open it in a new tab. And um, you'll see here a table of contents down the left about getting started, how to guides, faculty program, et cetera, et cetera. And then if you open these, you'll have a lot more information. So our handbook is a treasure trove of information. Um, and if you want to know how the training team does a specific thing, um, search for it in the handbook and you'll probably find um, some information about that. 
Um, today's we'll be looking at the handbook um, mainly, so we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, oops, but I just wanted to point out we also have two more links here. So the getting started, this links to the training team's onboarding program. So if I click on getting started, it says welcome to the training team. Um, and on the right here under topics, this sort of this is like a, a table of contents for the content on this particular page. So you can get an overview of what this page has. So we have welcome to the training team, get set up, and it talks about some accounts, a WordPress.org account, a Slack account, a GitHub account, and then find your interest and make your first contribution. So um, this onboarding program takes about 30 to 60 minutes, um, hopefully, um, and helps you figure out how you can contribute in the training team. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see a familiar face here. Um, let me scroll down further and you'll see more information here. Just um, This is designed to be self-serve. Um, so if you haven't walked through the onboarding program yet, um, I highly recommend taking 30 to 60 minutes um, just so you get an overview of the training team and how we communicate, how we operate. Um, and in particular, at the very bottom here, we say find your interest and make your first contribution. So in the training team, we have split out the tasks into five areas of contribution. So we have content creator, we have content translator, we have editor, we have subject matter experts, and we have administrators. So lots of different tasks in the training team. So we sort of split them out into um, to specialities. Um, and in this onboarding program, there'll be a few questions to help you figure out which onboarding in particular would match your interests. Um, so do have a look at that. The welcome committee we'll be talking about today is not tied to any of these. So let me rephrase that. You can be part of any role in the training team and you can still become a welcome committee member. So you can be a content creator, and a welcome committee member, or you can be an administrator and a welcome committee member. So the welcome committee is open to anyone in the training team. Um, so that was the getting started guide. And then there was one more link I wanted to point out, um, and that was the faculty members. So um, the faculty members are, in a sense, experienced contributors in the training team who have dedicated a specific amount of time to the training team's causes. So we have some faculty who just dedicate one hour a month, and that's okay as well. We have other faculty members who dedicate 20, 30 hours a week, um, and that's okay as well. Um, but this, this, sorry, this list of people um, have a bit of experience in the training team. So if you ever get stuck on something, these are great people you can reach out to and ask questions. Um, and you'll see here, um, we have roles. So some of these people at the top here, these are like past team reps um, or full-time contributors who have experience with all the roles. Um, so for example, here, Benjamin Evans, that's me. I live in Asia and I'm part of all the roles. Um, let me drop this link in the Zoom chat as well. Um, and then like if you're if you become a content creator, then you can see these are some other content creators you can reach out to with questions. Um, or if you become a subject matter expert, these are our other subject matter experts you can ask questions, um, et cetera. So faculty list. Um, so there we go. So th those are the three important links at the top right here. We have getting started, we have handbook, and we have faculty members. Let me pause there. Does anybody have any questions so far? Um, we sort of, we went from the big WordPress project down to the training team and I'm sort of, sort of getting an overview of how things work. And we're finally coming down to the welcome committee next. No questions so far. All right. So the welcome committee, what is that all about? Now you'll find the welcome committee's manual. Oh, sorry, I see some people with their hands up. 
Uh, Lisa, did you have a question? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I think I was mainly wondering, but you'll probably get there, so I can probably just wait. But yeah, it seems so much more organized. I think I actually had Sarah kind of walk us through this process a long time ago when it was probably mm -hmm. newer. Mm -hmm. And now it seems like you have much more um, backup information than the, mm -hmm. there was before. So it's probably grown a lot and been fleshed out. But I was wondering what would be the next steps? Would you, it's obviously you go to the handbook and you go to contents, but I am kind of curious, like where would you recommend we dive in once we decide what type of a person we would want to be? Or are you talking about welcome committee and that's your main subject? Yeah, so <clears throat> um, that's a good question. That's a good question. If you click open the how-to guides, we have a list here like team roles. This gives a, a more fleshed out list of team roles and different things you can do in the team. And then we have specifics like how to write a meeting agenda, um, how to host a training team meeting, guidelines for reviewing content. So um, it sort of comes back to what role or area of expertise you choose in the, in the, in the meet, um, onboarding. So if you want to become an admin, then as an admin, something you can do is write a meeting agenda or a meeting recap. So then you would click in this how-to guide to see specifically how to do that. Or if you choose to become an editor, then one thing an editor does is reviewing content. So then you would click on guideline for reviewing content to see how exactly you would review content. Um, so let me just open the getting started guide one more time. So at the bottom of the getting started guide, I showed we have um, five, five areas of contribution here. And then if you open each of these um, onboarding pages at the very bottom, they have what's next. So now that you've completed your first contribution, here's a list of other tasks you can complete as a team content creator. And then we have here, you can become a lesson plan writer, you can facilitate an online workshop, create a tutorial, create a course. And so what we've tried to do is at the end of each onboarding, there's a, there's a section with next steps. Um, so here we have the content creators and these all link into, back into the table of contents in the handbook. So you can look, you can find things directly in the handbook or you can come from the end of the onboarding and figure out a specific task you can work on next. All right, Elisa, I see you say, great, um, good to know. And Elisa, I see you ask, are these also discussed in the weekly meeting? Um, I presume you mean these next tasks? Um, in the weekly meetings, we do list um, mainly the content creation tasks, but sorry, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me go back. So in the weekly meetings, we do talk about active projects at the moment. Um, and yes, we do say, okay, this is a list of content that we need to be created now. This is the high priority content. And then we say, this is the high priority content that's been made and waiting a review. Um, and then we also say, these are the high priority admins um, projects that need contributors. So yes, if you come to the meeting, um, you will get to see um, what the high priority stuff is. All right. Um, so, so let's let's come back to the handbook. Great question, Elisa. And if you have any more like that, feel free to use the hand emoji, and I'll try and pick that up. All right. So, welcome committee. So, if you come to the handbook under how to guides under team roles, you'll find welcome committee. Now it says team roles. And so hopefully in future, we'll have more documentation here about the other roles. Um, but at the moment, we just have welcome committee. So we'll click on that. What, so this is the same for any WordPress team, but generally when a new contributor comes along and they find the team they want to get be part of, um, they sort of join the team, but then they don't know what to do next. And Maybe people in this call have had a similar experience as well. You came to the training team and you want to get involved, but you're not exactly sure what to do next. Um, and so the welcome committee's main um, purpose is to make sure those people who join the team 
are connected with their with with the team. So in my mind, sort of joining a team and connecting with the team um, are two separate things. Just because somebody joins the training team doesn't necessarily mean they've connected with the team and the mission and the goals we're working towards. And so the welcome committee um, tries to bridge the gap there. So they, they keep an eye out. And when somebody new joins, they reach out to them and help them connect with whatever is most interesting to them in the training team. So that is a primary goal of the welcome committee member. All right, so let's go through this overview. Welcoming folks when they join the training team channel is a critical part of ensuring we create connections with them early. Um, any tra training team member can volunteer to be on the welcome committee. We aim to have multiple team members in the role at any given time. This page will provide guidance on how to perform this role. And I do wanna point out, um, the welcome committee isn't just for experienced contributors. Um, for example, if you joined the training team last month and somebody new joins today, then you have a month of experience more than that new contributor. So there is something you can help them with or show them. Um, and so the welcome committee members don't have to have the answers to everything, but, um, even just knowing like we have a handbook and if you go to the handbook, you'll be able to find the information you're looking for. That piece of knowledge, the new contributor might not have. So even brand new team members can still join the welcome committee and share what knowledge they do have with the new members who join the team. Um, so that's why it says here, any training team member can volunteer to be on the welcome committee. We don't expect years of experience. Um, anybody can really join the welcome committee. Um, and the, rest, the list of responsibilities um, is pretty short, actually. So first one, welcome new contributors when you notice they've joined the training Slack channel. Second one, direct new contributors to the team's onboarding program to help them learn about and understand our team. And the third one, answer new contributors' questions in the training channel. So let's quickly go over these three points here. These are the responsibilities of the welcome committee. So the first one, welcome new contributors when they join the training Slack channel. So in order to become a welcome committee member, you have to have a Slack account and you have to have joined the training team's Slack. So let me bring over my Slack here. <clears throat> All right. So um, for those who aren't too familiar with Slack, you'll probably be surprised with just how much information showing here, but that's because um, I'm a training team rep and I, I'm connected with a few different groups. So um, you'll see here this, if you have this blue WordPress icon, then you're part of the um, WordPress Slack. And then in the left here, you have lots of channels and different direct messages with people. Um, but today we're focusing just on this one. So you'll see here a, a sharp and then training. So this is where the training team meets and this is where we have our meetings. Um, and this is, um, this is where the main work of the welcome committee happens. So the first one was welcome new contributors Oops, when you've noticed they've joined the training Slack channel. So how do you know when somebody has joined the training Slack channel? Um, and if you look here, the very bottom message of the training channel actually is a good example of somebody new who has joined. So when somebody new joins the channel, it says here, Prabing joined training along with ColorPress. Oh, Elisa, is that you? <laughs> um, yep. So we can see here two people recently joined. Prabing joined. And if you click on his name, it will open his profile on the right here. And it says here a bit of interest, um, a bit of background about him. And then you'll see if you click on ColorPress, um, Oops, you click on color press, then we see Elisa over here as well. So when you know that somebody has joined, um, you'll see some people have put a wave mark here and that is their way of recognizing new people have joined the channel. So that's first of all, one way training team members, uh, sorry, welcome committee members can welcome new people. Um, but I also like to just send a, a message out. Um, so like, um, 
hey, welcome Elisa and Pravin to the training channel. Or um, if it's somebody you know from an event or someone you know specifically, then you can even send them a personal message to just say, hey, I saw you join the training channel. channel. Welcome to the team. Um, so there isn't a, a hard rule here about what the welcome committee member must do, um, but just keep an eye out um, for people who join. And um, sometimes after somebody joins, they ask a question immediately. So they've come to the training team with a purpose, with a question they want answered. And so they will join and they'll say, hey team, I'm wanting to look for information about this particular thing. Um, and that comes to the third point here. So we'll skip the second one. If you come to the third one, it says answer the new contributor's question in the training channel. And so what we ask welcome committee members is to just keep an eye out for new people who join the channel and any questions they might ask. Um, it, it can be any question. Um, and just making sure people aren't ignored. No, not ignored, but it's sometimes easy to overlook um, questions people ask. And so the welcome committee just keeps an eye out to see if somebody has asked the question, say in the last two or three days since you last logged in. And if nobody has sort of responded to that person yet, then they can add a comment um, and start to answer the question for them. Um, so let me see. Let me see if there's a good example here. Um, Mark Andrew, I saw you did you did this recently and I thought it was really um, cool. So let's see. Here we go. So um, this is a somebody who joined the channel and they said, hello, training team. And he gave a bit of an introduction. And I would also like to make some contributions to perform and also encourage other members to contribute as well. So um, he said that, oh, sorry. I'm bringing up my example, but um, I said here, welcome. Um, and then he asked some questions here. So I gave him a bit of information. And then what I noticed here, Mark Andrew, is you welcomed the new team member as well. And then we have Courtney and Amit who also gave a welcome message. Um, and um, just responding to questions like this, making new people feel welcomed um, is very valuable in helping them connect with the team. And that's what we ask welcome committee members to do. You don't need to know the answer to everything, but when you do find somebody new has joined the team, um, just send them a nice note, warm welcome um, so that they feel part of the team. Um, so what we just covered was the first and third of the responsibilities. Did anybody have any questions about those? I'm pretty sure I saw you, Mark Andrew. You responded to somebody recently. Um, and you didn't have the answer, but you called faculty members into the conversation because they could answer. Hmm. Yeah, it's not coming to me right now, but Mark Andrew, I've, I've seen you do this naturally already, so that's great. All right. Then the second one here is direct new contributors to the team's onboarding program to help them learn about and understand our team. So once again, where can people find the onboarding program? It's at the top of the training team blog. So if you click on getting started, that takes people to the, getting, the, the onboarding program. And so if you see someone who joins the team and they're like, I'm interested in creating content, I don't know where to start, um, please send me guidance, then you can send them the, on, the link to the onboarding program. That's the best guidance you can give new people. And as they work through that, they might have additional questions, um, but we'll get to that. Um, like if they have additional questions, you can always ask somebody else to help you answer them. Um, but anybody in this call is free to share the onboarding link with anybody new who joins the training channel. All right, so those are the three responsibilities. That's, that's basically all we want people to do. We want people to just be aware of new people who join the team and send them a warm welcome message when they do. The requirements to become a welcome committee member is that you're an active training team member. Now, 
the word active here can sometimes seem, I don't know, overwhelming to people. But um, in my mind, an active training team member is somebody who might log in, um, attend a meeting, um, add a comment to a blog post at least once or twice a month. Um, and as long as they come around once or twice a month and have a basic understanding of what's going on in the team right now, I think they're an active training team member. Um, of course, um, there are people who are under different circumstances who are in the training team 20 and 30 hours a week, and they are active members as well. But don't, don't think that is the only, um, I don't know, act active doesn't mean you have to be there all the time. Um, as long as you come in every now and then, you have a basic understanding of what's going on in the team, then you are just as much an active member who can volunteer to become a committee member. I've been talking for a while, I think. Does anybody have any questions? All good so far? Yep, Mark Andrew, thank you. All right. Now we do list current committee members here. And so you'll see we have three committee members. I am one of them. Um, and what we have is a, a rotation system. Um, so um, what it is, is we have, what, what we'd like to see is say a dozen people with their names on the welcome committee list. Um, and these dozen people, um, just keep an eye on the Slack and welcome new people when they join. Um, but sometimes life gets busy and you might not be able to log in for a week. Um, and if we have about a dozen people, then if you're not able to log in for a week or two, that's still okay because there'll be other welcome committee members who should be there and who'd be able to welcome them. So we don't need every single welcome committee member to send a message to every new people who join. But as long as we have a group of committee members, then hopefully two or three of them will be able to catch the new people to join and send them a welcome message. And so we have a, we have a simple rotation system. And so these two people who have a tick next to them, these two people are just paying um, particular attention to the people who join. So um, this is just so these people on rotation, um, they know they are the, like the primary welcome committee members for the month. Um, and of course, if this becomes difficult, you can pass the rotation on to somebody else. Um, but this is just so that we have a couple of people who are paying specific attention to welcoming people. Um, but it doesn't mean these are the only people who send welcoming messages. Anybody um, on the list and even people not on the list are free to welcome new people to the team. All right. And then finally, there's just one more point I wanted to talk about in today's call, and that is following and responding to the welcome thread in team meetings. So in every training team meeting, we have a thread where we welcome new people to the team who joined the team in the last week. Um, so I'm going to drop a, a link here in the Zoom chat go. Um, and if you click on that link, that will take you to Slack um, to the welcome message from this week's team meeting. So let me click on it as well. So we can open that um, in the browser here. All right, so training team meetings start with a with a message like this. So Pooja is another one of the training team reps this year. So she says here, the EMEA American meeting is starting now. So the meeting starts, she sends a welcome message, welcome everyone. And then we have an intro and welcome. Um, and so we have people introduce themselves. Um, there's always a thread who is joining us today. Please say hello and share a flag or your favorite emoji. Feel welcome to introduce yourself briefly and share your region in the thread. So if you open the thread, You'll see here, everybody who was present for that meeting um, lists their WordPress or username and just a flag from where they're joining from. Um, and then if you come to the bottom, you'll see here, people say, 
catching up async. So catching up async, catching up async. And I think I'm here as well, async from Japan. So these people who use the word async, they weren't there at the time of the meeting, but they've opened Slack later and they're catching up on what happened in the meeting. Um, and this is the good thing about having meetings text-based rather than video-based because people can do that. They can come back later and join the meeting. All right, so after this welcome message, um, then the, the team, uh, the meeting facilitator will always say something like this. We've had several new people join the channel recently. What is your interest in learning training and what do you enjoy outside of WordPress? So Elisa, because you joined the training team channel this week, your name will pop up next week, next week's meeting um, in a similar message like this. So welcome to the team. What brought you to the team? Um, and you notice here, we use their Slack um, names like this. You can see it's sort of a blue color and starts with an at P. Um, this sent a notification to each of these new members. So each of these members get a notification saying their name was mentioned in the training team channel. And sometimes people respond to that comment. And so they come back and say, hi, thank you for the welcome message. Um, I am so-and-so, these are my interests. I'd like to get, be part of the training team. And so this is a great message for welcome committee members to follow so that when those new people come back and add comments to the thread, the welcome committee members are also notified so that they can then respond with those new team members. Um, so this week, we see Mark, Andrew and Courtney has responded. No, none of the new contributors have said anything. Um, and that's okay, we have weeks like that. So, oops, so let me show you the link from last week's meeting. So not this week. Um, so last week's welcome message. All right, so I dropped another Zoom link, oh, sorry, a Slack link in Zoom, um, which will take us to last week's message. And you see, um, we have a similar thing. We've had several new people join the channel recently. What is your interest in learn training? What do you enjoy outside of WordPress? So you're, if you open this thread, um, you'll see here, for example, Corina, um, she's one of the new people mentioned here, Corina L. So she said, I would like to help where I can and learn as well. Um, she's a web designer, developer, um, and she gives a bit of introduction. So this is a ideal message for welcome committee members to pick up on and send a welcoming message back to so this person knows where to get started. Um, so you see here, Courtney um, has sort of responded and um, sent a bit of message. Um, and then we see Kyle. Kyle is also one of the new people who joined the team recently. Um, he gave a brief introduction. Um, I actually personally know Kyle, so I sent him a message welcoming him to the team. Um, and, and that's basically, that's what we want welcome committee members to do, to give a warm, and welcoming atmosphere to the new people who join the team. Um, and an easy way to do that is whenever you're skimming through the channel, the Slack channel, and you see a message like this, what I do is I click here, and then that's not a good example because that's, let's see. So when you click here, you'll see a message like this, get notified about new replies. So if you click on that, then if any of the new joinees comment on that thread, then you'll get a notification in Slack. Um, I think it's up here in the thread section saying somebody new has commented on the thread. So then you'll be able to respond to them with a welcome message. Um, so this section of the handbook shows you how to do that. So each week we have like a welcome message like this. If you click on the three dots and then click on get notified about new replies, then if any of these new people comment in the thread, you'll be notified about that and you can respond with a warm welcome message. Um, and, and that's basically it. That's what the welcome committee does. They just keep an eye out for new people who join and welcome them, helping them connect with the team. We have about five minutes left. Um, any questions from people?
Mark Andrew, thumbs up. Tarek, thumbs up. Great, Elisa, thumbs up. Um, cool, so since we have a couple of minutes left, I will just mention one more thing. And that is when you join, when somebody joins the training team channel, we have what's called a workflow set up that sends a automated message to that new person. Um, this doesn't happen in the training channel. It happens, I think it's a Slack bot um, that sends that new person a message. Um, so for example, Elisa, you joined the training channel today. You've probably received a message from Slack bot. Um, so not the training channel, but some other channel down the side. You probably received a message and it says something like this. Hey, name of new contributor. Welcome to training. We're so happy you joined the team. Um, the training team helps people learn to use, extend, and contribute to WordPress through learning material provided on Learn WordPress. Our team representatives are Pooja, Destiny, and Ben Evans. Um, to get started, come walk through our onboarding program, Getting Started. And then it talks a bit about the onboarding program. So um, just, let, um, just letting the welcome committee members know, when people join the training team, they do get a message like this. And it does direct them to the onboarding program. Um, but sometimes people don't read the message or maybe they're busy and they get like dive into the training team channel and they forget about the message. Um, and so sometimes they don't actually walk through the onboarding program and that's okay. So if you find someone in the training channel who's starting to get involved and asking questions, um, feel free to share the getting started link with them again. Um, the onboarding program is where they will get the best idea of how the training team works. Um, and so we can, if we can share it with them two or three times, um, I think that would be a good idea. All right, I'm going to stop my screen share. <clears throat> um, thank you folks for listening. Um, we have just two minutes left. Any final questions people wanna squeeze in? So if you, all good. If you listen to the today, if you listened to today's presentation, and you want to become a welcome committee member, the way to do that is ping me in Slack and say, "I want to join the welcome committee," and then I will put your name on the welcome committee table, and then that's it. You can start welcoming people into the team when they join. All right. So I will never be able to make 11 o'clock because <clears throat> I have Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. So everything would have to be async. Is that, is that typical? Yes, that is totally fine. Um, you might have seen Courtney sort of popped up in a couple of those threads there. Um, she lives in Hawaii and she doesn't get to any of the meetings either. So everything she does is async. Um, but, but that's totally fine. She's a welcome committee member already and um, she leads some other projects as well. So async is totally okay. Great. Yep. Great question. Yeah, I, I think the, um, unless you're act like this online workshop, which, which Ben spoke to me about before, I knew was coming. I made a plan to be here. I knew I had the time, mm -hmm. but I think everything in, yeah, because it's a global community, everything in Slack, or not everything, but everything there is set up async. That's why it's there, so we can get back and get back to it. But yeah, as you said, uh, living in Japan, you're on, you're in between time zones all over the place. So, yeah, um, it, if you're not used to async, it might take a bit of time getting comfortable with. But the whole WordPress program is designed that people communicate async and they can contribute async. So. Hopefully, Jim, you can get used to that quickly as well. And um, yeah, please come and become a welcome committee member. <laughs> sure. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mark Andrew, for co-hosting for me. Um, thank you, everybody, for your questions and your comments. 100%. All right. Yeah. Thanks yep. for this, Ben. That, uh, that was you. fun and interesting. Yeah. Learned. Great. Great to hear. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Take care, everyone. Thanks for joining.